Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers ponder. Are Kotlin inline functions less expensive than Java anonymous classes? Let's break it down. Welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the concept of anonymous classes in Java. When you create an anonymous class, like a listener for a button, Java compiles it into a separate class file. This design choice means that every anonymous class contributes to the overall class count in your application. This can lead to performance issues, especially on constrained platforms like Android. Now let's compare this with Kotlin. In Kotlin, functions are first-class citizens, meaning they can be treated like any other variable. This allows for a more functional programming style. When Kotlin compiles these functions, it often does so more efficiently than Java's anonymous classes. This means you won't face the same class count issues, leading to better performance. In summary, Kotlin's inline functions are generally less expensive than Java's anonymous classes, making them a better choice for a functionally driven code base. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Kotlin's inline functions can be more efficient than Java's anonymous classes. When you declare a function as inline, it allows the Lambda body to be treated like a nested scope, enabling you to return from it directly. Using inline functions can eliminate runtime overhead associated with higher order functions, such as memory allocations and virtual calls. This means better performance in many cases. However, this performance boost only applies to functions explicitly declared as inline. For more details, check the Kotlin documentation. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.